Hello and welcome to this Blender Low Poly tutorial. This is actually part of a longer series, so if you haven't watched the previous episodes, you may want to have a look at those first. Let's continue where we left off. Let's uh, color this guy in, I think, you now to uh, get some idea what he's going to look like. So a technique that I like to color my low poly art stuff with is by just creating a, a small, small, small image. Let's do new. Let's make him just eight by eight pixels. And I'm going to be using the UV stuff to texture this. And then I'll just create blocks that are two pixels big. And then I just pick the colors that I want. So I know that I'm going to want to color for. Let's see, we need the chain mail, the color of the clothing belt stuff, so, so some browns and grays, maybe two grays, maybe a mid gray here, and then a darker gray, and we're probably going to need something nearly black as well, so make nearly black, instead of full black, yeah, if you make it nearly black it'll still add some reflection to the um, shaders if needed. And then we're going to need some browns for the clothing as well. And if he's got any good stuff. And then the, the clothing that he wears will need some, let's make it, what? Well, let's see, what do they have? So some browns, maybe I'll make some darker browns and then some red that'll stick out a little bit. Maybe a dark red as well for a shaded area. And then we need some skin colors. Let's make these guys a bit not as crisp and clean as the Viking. Let's make them a bit dirtier. They've been out in battle for a long time. About to get sacrificed. And then let's make a dark tone here as well. And then something for their hair as well. Maybe they should have some a bit of gold on their precious helmets as well. Let's leave three spaces here as well. So control alt shift s to save a PNG file. Save. Then I should be following some sort of structure and I'll do just keep adding it into this folder from the ludum there and this will be the saxon one and now we can go into uv editing and go into tab into object edit mode and then uvs here and then we need to open this one that we just created And then here, it's already unwrapped a little bit here, but I like to, this is the simplest thing when it comes to doing low poly stuff because you don't need to worry at all hardly about the UV layout. So um, I select all the vertices, unwrap, reset to make sure if that it looks like this. A to select when I'm in this viewport, scale to 0 0.01. Um, so I scale just all of them down and then I press the N key in this viewport so I can enable texture solid. And as you can see, whatever I put G to grab this one now that I've got it selected, I can press G to grab. And then it'll just pick the color for the faces from this uh, palette. And uh, yeah, we just let's just select the skin color there. And now I can just uh, deselect, for example, if I go into the 
face here. Let's deselect the head. Like this. And then this is going to be mostly gray, I think, from the chainmail. A to deselect everything. And let's make the belt here black. G to grab it when I'm in this viewport. And then we need. So that's the chain over there. The legs, let's make them into. Actually, we need a blue for the pants and then red for this, I think we'll do. Uh, but we need brown shoes. Here's another one as well. You can select a few faces at the bottom here with the shift key and then press Control Numpad Plus to grow the selection. And then G to grab it. And then some brown for his boots. And then his gloves, I guess, should be brown. So I'll do the same trick here. Tab, so I make sure I'm in edit mode. I select these two uh, faces, press the control key and numpad plus to grow the selection. And then G to grab it. And let's make the gloves a little bit brighter. For his clothing here was, let's make this uh, the red color. So I just hold the shift key to ensure that I select the multiple. Oh, that's meant to be chainmail. So I think that's everything. And if it isn't, it's no problem because you can always come back and fix it. G to move it into there. And then here is another like fake shading trick. Uh, if you select the inner ver inner ones here now, you can make them a darker, so it looks like it's shadow in there. And let's make these brighter red. like that and then this should be red I guess from the top as well yeah that should be good I think Oh yeah, his pants needs to change a little bit. Yeah, actually, the sky is going to be blue, so I don't want to give him uh, blue pants after all. I might just give him a different shade of grey pants. Or a different shade of brown, maybe. Leather pants. That'll do. Yeah, that should do the trick, I think. Okay, we need uh, a face on him now. And so. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope you liked this video, and if you did, please give it a thumbs up and also consider subscribing to my channel for future videos that I make. You can click to your right to watch the next episode in this series, or you can click on the left to watch the previous video.